that my name is Colette Nwadike, Miss Tourism Nigeria 2014, Special Assistant to Anambra State Governor on Tourism, and you're watching Prime TV. <laughs> My name is Agbejule Mofe Ishara, a student of Laduki Akitola University of Technology, studying nursing. I am the face of Nigel Crave Lautech, and I'm here to grace the event Mr. Universe Nigeria 2015. My name is Adeda Mola Cruz Adebawale, face of the World International. No, no, I've come to chair up, I can't call them young contestants, but we are all colleagues because we are all models. So. I'm here to see who will probably just probably go to Nigeria Proud again at the World Contest. Yeah, I came for this Mr. Universe Nigeria. I, I wish all of them the best of luck. Uh, the best should win. Uh, I'm putting on a black suit and... <laughs> Made by Sharon Deva. Yeah. I do, myself. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Inijua. I'm Miss, N Miss Covey Nigeria Top Model 2015. Okay, I'm wearing a design by Owambe. Owambe, yeah. Yeah, personal stylist. Um, I think I'm here to have fun and also see of different models, learn from them also, and know what they have to bring to the table. So basically, for me, it's just fun, 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 fun. So, 
and, and I've not really been to a male beauty pageant, so it's the first time. So it's something I want to say. Yeah, to see good models, see good people on the runway, see good people on Miss Universe, yeah, and to make sure a good winner comes out and be Miss Universe, yeah. Um, I expect to see um a lot of talent, a lot of um beauty with brains, not just physical beauty, but also a lot upstairs and a well-organized, well-packaged event that adds value and uh, furthers the, adds value to society and furthers the aim of the organizations behind this event. Question number four. What would you say has been man's greatest contribution to humanity? I come again. What would you say has been man's greatest contribution to humanity? Thank you very much for the questions. Thank you, judges. Thank you, fellow contestants. But I would say the greatest um, to humanity would be love. I would say it's love because if we love one another, then we will have a peaceful country. Thank you. Thank you. So, Mr. Enugu, please, we're going to take a question number. So, we'll do one from here, one from there. So, Mr. Enugu, your question number. Question number six. Now, if you had 60 seconds to talk to Mr. President about insurgency, what would you say to him? Your time starts now. Thank you very much for the question. I, I would tell him, or I would say to him that we need more educated people because we we'll have more educated people out there to prevent um, insurgency, yeah, because people be educated and enlightened and know the value of life, so they won't want to go and lose their life. Thank you, Mr. Bayalfa. Okay. Question number one. Question number one: If you were given thirty seconds to deliver a message to the Boko Haram terrorists, what would you say? I will tell them that. Boko Haram, stop this thing you are doing, first of all. Stop this thing you are doing. We need, we need a peaceful country. Ladies and gentlemen, please That's keep allowed. it has, He has 30 seconds actually, just 30 okay, seconds. Okay, okay, he has just 30 seconds. I will tell them, Boko Haram, this thing you are doing, consider if Consider if your mother is there to be in your shoes because I feel every human has a space for love in his heart. Thank you very much. My name is Collect Madike. I am Miss Tourism Nigeria 2014, uh, special, uh, special assistant to Anambra State Governor on Tourism. Okay, um, as a judge, I know I've seen their pictures. They are really, really hot. I'm expecting to see that one person that will really, really, really impress me. When I say impressed, I need someone that will have that confidence, that um, charisma to uh, represent Nigeria more on like an international platform, not just in Nigeria. So that's what I expect to see from the contestants tonight. Yeah, my name is Francis Eguatu, for AKA Francis Beacon, and I'm the current Mr. Universe Nigeria 2014. And I'll be handing over tonight, unfortunately. Oh yeah, the feeling, I feel fulfilled, you know, because I've been able to achieve the things I actually plan achieving though I still have a long way to go as a model but I've, I'm, I'm fulfilled and I'm happy handing over tonight to the best man obviously. My expectations tonight um, I just want to have fun and I just want to hand over successfully with no flaws no problems you know and everybody go home is happy. My expectation is that the right person gets the Mr. Universe Nigeria stand and 15 today the person who really deserves to get it. My name is Shelly Ogbise, I'm from Bayasa State. I'm representing Miss Covey Culture 2015. Well, I'm here to have fun and see what's happening actually, seriously. I'm here to have fun. I actually styled myself, I make my clothes myself. I'm representing culture, as you can see, the beats and all represent culture. So, I styled myself, my clothes are made by myself. Next up we have Mr. Personality and that award goes to Mr. Koki.
Next up, we have Mr. Amity. Mr. Amity is the contestant voted by all the contestants as the most agreeable contestant. That contestant who is like a rallying point for all, every other contestant. And that award goes to Mr. Ondo. And then we'll go straight to the original awards. Mr. Universe Nigeria North, that is the delegate who will represent the brand in the whole of the northern part of Nigeria. And that award goes to Mr. Katuna. Next, we have Mr. Universe Nigeria East, and that award goes to Mr. Imo. <laughs> Our new Mr. Universe Nigeria Tourism 2015 is Mr. I remember vividly that sometime in 2014, it happened that, it happened during uh, Colette's time. You remember Miss Colette? Ivo was the favorite, but from nowhere, Anambra came and snatched it. Uh, my name is Mboji Kennedy, and I represented Enugu in the just concluded Mr. Universe Nigeria 2015. Uh, okay, I actually won uh, Mr. Universe Nigeria Tourism for 2015. And this is my award. I'm happy. I'm exhausted, though. <laughs> but I'm happy. You know, it was uh, it was worth it. It was for a good cause, and um, I hope this this creates a platform for many more, many more to come. Yeah, I was tense, of course. Who wouldn't be tense in my situation? Because everybody wants to win. No one goes into a competition without wanting to win. You know. So um, I was tense, but um, I just had to do what I do. Get my game, get my game on point, and you know, just bring up my A game, and you know. It's, it's at least it shows for the good results. So My name is Mewa Amashala, Mr. Universe Nigeria 2015. Um, I wasn't expecting it, but I really thank God because as soon as I was announced, I mean, I felt like crying. I had to cover my face a bit, but I thank God. Wow, it was wonderful, it was wonderful. Um, yeah, we, we actually planned to get people here, down here, because they bought tickets on time, so I got a bus to bring people down here, free transportation. So. I'm really glad that, that everybody turned up. Yeah. Like every good thing in life, it was very challenging. But um, with God, I believe that all things are possible and He saw us through. Especially, I, I, I like to thank all my um, fellow contestants. This wasn't a one-man job. We all did the job together. We all rehearsed together. We all practiced together. We all slept late together. We all woke up very early together. So, yeah, thank God. Uh, I mean, the thing is about, about shows is that you always have expectations, in fact, bigger expectations. Even when you achieve your expectation, you always feel that, I mean, it could have been better. But of course, all in all, I mean, it was an exciting show. The crowd waited till, I mean, one o'clock. I mean, so that means that everybody enjoyed the show from beginning to the end. So, I mean, all in all, yes, I did enjoy the show. Uh, I mean, first and foremost, this is the first year, this is the first ever in our four years of doing Mr. Universe that we, we didn't have any single sponsor. I mean, everything you see here today was put together by my company, Q Concept. We didn't have any single sponsor. So this has been our most challenging year because of it's an election. it was an election year. And of course, secondly also, I mean, it was very challenging for me because, I mean, I was going from hospital to camp, hospital to camp. So it was really challenging, but I'm glad that all of it paid off. Hello, everyone. My name is Adeda Mola Cruz. Growing on the face of the world international, and you're watching Prank TV, don't talk to the doubt. 